Um, so I'm Dr. Ruth Wilson. I work in the, and live in Lindsay, which is in the city of Corth Lakes. My practice is part of the city of Corth Lakes Family Health Team, which is 20 plus physicians in the Corth Lakes, including Lindsay, uh, Bob Cage, and Fenlon Falls, Olmini, Little Britain. I have a pretty comprehensive uh, family practice. I see patients in the office during the week and I follow my inpatients um, at the hospital. I generally have between two and four patients in at a time. I also do obstetrics, so uh, we have four family doctors in, in the city of Cortha Lakes doing um, deliveries at this point. And so we each do uh, one week of call, so it's a shared call model. And uh, so we follow prenatal patients in our office and then see them at a prenatal clinic at the hospital in the last month of pregnancy. Um, the Ross Memorial Hospital is the hospital in Lindsay. Um, it's 176 beds, a variety of services. The family doctors play a fairly key role at the hospital. There's a number of uh, family physicians, about 11 who maintain hospital privileges. And then we also have the hospital service, um, about four physicians who um, see patients uh, who are orphaned or, or whose family doctors don't come to the hospital. So I think uh, we offer uh, quite a uh, comprehensive um, opportunity for, for residents and medical students to, to um, uh, you know, comprehensive environment to learn in. Um, so uh, typically um, a day would be um, you know, seeing patients in, in the hospital in the morning um, for an hour or two. Um, and then later on in the day, you know, coming to the office, um, um, my hours vary a little bit, but uh, generally Mondays and Tuesdays all day I see patients in the office. Uh, Wednesday mornings is booked for patients. Um, and then in the afternoon I do paperwork. Um, Thursday mornings I see patients um, and uh, Friday mornings. Um, and then hospital work is fit in around that. Um, and uh, as I say, uh, obstetrical call is one week a month, so those weeks there's less going on in the office and more going on at the hospital. So we have two exam rooms each um, in our office. It's a fairly small office, it's a fairly older building, but, um, but I think we, we function fairly well in the office and, and the, the staff is great. We have three secretaries working with us um, and, and as I mentioned the nurse as well. Um, so um, generally the resident would be sharing uh, the two exam rooms with, um, with the preceptor, myself or, or one of the other physicians in the office. Uh, generally residents are pretty independent, they see um, patients on their own and then review either midway through the day or at the end of the day with the preceptor. Um, but we're always available, there's always at least one of us around for any questions that occur during the day. Um, there's opportunities to do shifts in the emergency department if a resident was interested in that. Um, there's opportunities to do some OR assisting, um, spend some time with uh, the obstetricians, uh, gynecologists in their procedure clinics. Um, uh, so there's quite a, a large variety of things that residents can get involved in if, they, if that's what they're interested in. The obstetrical piece for myself, you know, if a resident wasn't interested in that piece, that's, that's totally fine. We understand that residents are interested in different things and have different learning um, goals. Um, different interests um, so we can tailor the experience to them. So yeah, we try to be pretty flexible and, and uh, yeah, yeah, just try and meet the residents' needs and, and tailor things uh, according to their needs. So Lindsay itself is about 20,000 patients, but uh, or 20,000 no, people I should say, um, but the core of the lakes is about 72,000, so the Ross Memorial Hospital does serve a fairly large area. Um, and uh, yeah, we think it's a great area to live and work. So.